G'day and welcome back to One World Flyer. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad you clicked into this video. Can I please ask you to spend 2 seconds of your life to click the subscribe and bell buttons so you don't miss out on a new video again which comes out every Thursday 12pm Hong Kong time. Today, I'm flying Qantas Domestic 737 Business Class from Adelaide to Perth. The Qantas check-in area is quite empty in the evening and the queue was very short. After that, I headed straight through security using the premium lane and then I went to the Qantas Club located opposite gate 21. The lounge is quite busy right now with a few last domestic flights to the east coast due to depart soon. My flight to Perth, QF599, is the last Qantas flight departing from Adelaide today. So eventually the lounge got really quiet. For a domestic lounge, I reckon the food here is quite good. Here's a quick look at the menu. I'm now on Snapchat, so feel free to add me and start a streak with me. I post stories about my life there every day. And also, I'm on Instagram. The lounge is now a lot quieter. As I'm quite confident and sure the food on board would be quite substantial, I'm just going to have some biscuits and a cup of mocha. Hello from the Adelaide Airport Qantas Club shower room. Uh, it's really huge here. Like, look. It looks new, but I don't think it's new actually. <laughs> it's really well maintained. It's clean. Here's where you take your shower. And towels are available outside. So that's it for the shower room tour. Before long, I headed to the gate. This is my aircraft tonight, a 14-year-old Qantas Boeing 737-800 VHVYA. I mean, tomorrow. Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong, right. How many flights okay. do you have to do? Three. Two, three. three. Good seats. <laughs> <laughs> This is my seat, 3F. Every seat can be reclined at a great and comfortable angle. There's also a leg rest with a foot rest attached to it. But sorry, I forgot to film that. I'll show you the other seat features after takeoff. Surprisingly, it's a domestic flight, but there's a menu for everybody. Also, a noise cancelling headphone should you want to listen to radio or watch TV from the screens on the ceiling. Here's a look at the menu. There are four options for main, which is fabulous. I chose sparkling juice for welcome drink. It's an unusual drink to have on a plane and I like it so much.
quick look at the seat features. The tray table is located inside the armrest. It's not hard to take it out, just pull it out and then the table can be folded into half and it can also be moved back and forth. In terms of cleanliness, it's not perfect. There you have a classic radio or TV remote. And here are buttons for leg rest, foot rest, recline and a seat back firmness. On the side you have a USB port and universal power socket. So if you decide to watch Netflix on your own device, you don't have to worry about the battery. This is my lemonade on the cocktail table. In the seat pocket you have the following items. A headphone I mentioned before, in-flight magazine, safety card, Wi-Fi guide and air sickness bag. On board this very flight there was free unlimited Wi-Fi and I used it to keep my Snapchat and Instagram followers updated about my flight. The Wi-Fi wasn't very fast but it worked fine without any problem. We are having some really, really bad turbulence. And unfortunately, the crew have to stop the meal service for 30 minutes long. The cabin manager made an announcement and apologised for the disruptions. It wasn't her fault, of course, but it was so nice of her to do so. Here's my starter, a bowl of salad, bread and surge kingfish with sauce for you. The name of that dish was too fancy for me to understand but it was so delicious. Now my favourite part was the main. Classic fish butty with tarragon, tartare sauce with coarse lettuce. It was very good, I would rate this 11 out of 10. One thing I like about Qantas is the butter they have in business class. It's better than the normal ones and you get more than enough. So here we are in Qantas 737 business class lavatory and it's quite tiny compared to a 320, the ones on Jetstar. But um, it's practical, it's got a tissue there, hand soap, um, and this coat hook of course. Yeah, not bad. When I came out from the lavatory, the cabin manager handed me this ice cream. The flavour was salt and honey, and you can tell there's chocolate as well. This is really, really good. We have around one hour to go before we start descending into Perth. I decided to take a quick nap. Most passengers were either working on their laptops or streaming movies on their phones. No one really cared about what's up on the TV. Before long we started our approach into Perth Airport so let's conclude this pleasant journey with Qantas right here right now. The staff I encountered on this trip had been so nice, all the crew on board were great and charming people. The cabin manager was super apologetic for the turbulence and she once again apologised for that after landing. The recliner seat was good, the recline angle was great. As for the entertainment, you don't have a personal TV on every seat, but it's nice that unlimited Wi-Fi is available for free. So you can text with your friends, browse on Facebook or watch One World Fly on YouTube even when you're flying. Furthermore, you can download the entertainment app once connected to in-flight Wi-Fi. You have free access to plenty of movies and TV shows within the app. I thought the food and beverages on board was fantastic, the sparkling juice for welcome drink was unique and the fish burger was amazing and I think that was one of the best burgers I've ever had. Overall, it was a great trip with Qantas. I can't find anything to complain except for the tray table, which wasn't very clean. Thanks very much for watching this trip report. I really do hope that you enjoyed this one. Please like this video, comment anything you want, share this video to someone who will find this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember, I upload every Thursday. Thank you, and I'll sign off here and let you enjoy the landing into Perth.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Perth. It's now 9.55. Please stay seated with seatbelt securely fastened until the seatbelt sign has been switched off. Once the aircraft's parked at the terminal building, you'll be able to leave it through the forward door on the left-hand side. Thank you very much.